You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV, your host G5 Jeff TV, aka G5, aka 5, aka the guru. Got my main man here, VP Shane. What's going on, Shane? Surviving. Surviving out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And you know, we got a we got a good friend of the show, family, of course. Mr. Ngabu is in the building. What is going on, good brother? All good, all good. And, all uh, good. Happy camp, end of the camp, next week fight, and uh, ready, 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 ready. So, we you might as well just jump two foot, two feet in, you know, you got a fight next week, this is your first fight since the... No, no, I had a tune-up fight there eh, last month. Yeah, yeah, oh, last, last month, month. a tune-up last yeah, month, yes, sir. a tune-up fight, you know, just a guy, you know, but I prepared for the fight, and uh, that was good. You know, and then the, just the first round knockouts, but uh, you know, we know it's 4 4 now. Now we're gonna start the comeback, the levels. Fair enough, I didn't know that's me not doing my because I um, I remember you were supposed to be fighting in December, last December. You were, yeah, me and you were yeah. talking about you signed with the same uh, uh, promotional company with, with React or you signed with Sourland, right. Yeah, I was with Wasserman. Yeah, I was with Wasserman. You happened with Wasserman Boxing. And what are you if you're still working with Wasserman Boxing? No, no, I was with Wasserman before it was Wasserman Boxing. I, I was with the uh, because before it was Wasserman and you had Sober Lab, and yeah. then they came together, Wasserman Boxing. The, so I was with Wasserman, but you know, uh, for me, it was uh, better to change because, uh, you know, it was too long without the fight. But uh, we had a good time, but uh, too long without the fight. And, uh, yeah, it changed. And, uh, yeah, and now I'm back on track. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're active, as That's you said. That's the most you had important. A, yeah. You had a fight last month, and then you had a fight. You got a fight next week. Next week. Yeah. And I, if I want, you know, I'm going to see how everything goes. I, I have options. I have different options. So uh, my new manager is, is, is doing a good job. He's, he's so, yeah, that I, I, I can hear. I mean, let's talk, before we talk about the options and the long-term um, direction for your career, what I want to speak about is next week and specifically the lead-up to this fight and also because I know there was complications regarding the opponent. And I know there's complications regarding the um, obviously sanctioning and the rank the rankings in governing body. So if you could give us uh, give the the viewers some clarity on exactly what happened regarding the opponent and what the situation is right now. Yeah. So uh, you know how it goes in the rankings. So I was two years and a half without the fight. So. I went out of the rankings and uh, everything. So I had the tuna fight last month. And then now next week, I'm fighting for the WDO global title. Uh, I was supposed to fight the champion of France, but I don't know what happened there. So the, the, you know, the fight didn't go on. So uh, now I'm fighting a guy, Brandon Desloy or something. And he's number three in France. He's a good, strong fighter. So uh, he did uh, ten rounds with with Bridis. Okay. So, uh, you know he's he's good, strong. So uh, I'm I'm well prepared. Uh, and yeah. I, I mean, I'm assuming I'm, I'm ready to go, and it's a title fight that get me in the rankings back in the. Is rankings. that another? Is that for the WBO Globe or is this yeah. just? This is for the WBO Global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for those who don't know what the WBO Global is, that is what Mickinson has, and that's how he ended up being in that. Uh, he was supposed to be in a final eliminator with um, Virgil, uh, Virgil Ortiz, but obviously that fight never took place. But having a WBO Global is as close to having a WBO interim. So I'm right. assuming you're going down that route. Purely and simply because you want a rematch with the WBO yeah. champion, which is Lawrence ah, Cole. Yeah. I want to fight for the world, world title, and uh, the the world champion is Okoli, uh, and it will be good to have a rematch. That's uh, what we're going for. Uh, hey, and Gabu, um, how how much do you think about that Okoli fight and kind of just 
how it played out. I, I know a lot of times with fighters, when they had that fight that gets past them, you kind of just replay it. Like, how often do you think about that that fight? Oh, I don't think about it uh, anymore. You know, it's a long, uh, it's long time. Uh, it's all, already in the past, and it's the future that counts. You know, it's the future that counts, and how it's gonna go now. This is in the past. I learned my lesson from it. I know what I could could do better, and uh, you know, I know what went wrong, and uh, it's just the future, the future that that counts for me. I mean, I agree. I agree yeah. with that. I mean, where you are right now in your career. You know, it's almost a case of, as you said, you lost two years of your career, basically yeah. not fighting. So I'm assuming let's right say, now... Let's say for me one year, you know, because you one year and a half because you had COVID and all no, that. Yeah. Correct. Very bad, correct. You know? so correct. One year, correct. 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 And then one year and a half, you know. That's, I mean, that's every, I think every fight I lost about a year, a year yeah, and yeah, a half yeah, because yeah, of yeah. COVID. So, yeah, that's yeah. true. I mean, there is... Um, yeah, so... Where I, where I would ask you then is, I'm assuming from this point onwards, you're almost trying to fast track your way to yeah. the bigger fight. Yeah. So can you tell me where you are right now in terms of, you said you got new management. What's the direction after this fight? I know you don't want to look past your opponent, but what's the direction no. after this fight and how do you no, want I, to progress through? I don't want to look past my opponent because, you know, it's he's a strong, good fighter. You know, so I respected him in my preparation and, and all that. But uh, we want to fight for a world title, you know. We want to fight for a world title. And with this WBO Global, global we, we take the, 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 the right direction. Um, uh, what, we, uh, you spoke about your management and the new management company you're under. Could you elaborate and explain how you ended up partnershiping with um, um, partnering up with the management you got right now and a um I can hey. see <laughs> we're gonna do an introduction in a second but just before we get into that uh, how did we how did you end up partnershiping up with the um the management company you have right now and yeah. um what the direction is that they have for you moving forward so uh how did it come so i'm a guy you know i i'm a boxing fan you know i'm a boxing fan and i look for informations myself i know that i have contacts myself and uh you know i'm a congolese the wbc champion is a congolese so um so i just look how how he works and uh, how it goes there and i contacted them and uh, i went over to germany to to spar with them and, uh, you know, I just liked it. I liked the, the coach, the sparring were, were good. We, we did good sparring. Uh, so the manager was good and uh, we had a chat. And, um, yeah, it went from there slowly. And uh, yeah, till, till uh, I, I signed with, with him. And uh, what he wants, you know, we want, we want to fight for one title. And uh, that's what we're going for. Uh, I was supposed to fight uh, uh, the Russian, uh, the Russian, the Russian. What's his name again? Papin. I was supposed Papin. to fight. I was going to fight him, but and then something went went wrong there. And uh, that would have been a yeah. great fight, Papin. That yeah. would have been a yeah, that would have been a real good fight. fight. It's still there, fight. you know. It's still there. It's still there. I mean, Papin. In some yeah. people's eyes, you know, Papin was beaten. Um, Maccabi before the injury took place, so that was a. I mean, that's some people me. say no, yeah, no, but some me. people that's would say. That. So Papin is a, he's a, he's a. That would have been a real good fight, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, but uh, for me, Papin was not winning this fight, huh? Not at all. But. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a. I mean, have I don't, always I'm, different opinions, you know. I remember that fight because it was on the Anthony Yard cover of undercard. And it yeah. was like fight of the year. And I remember yeah. um, everybody talking about Papin had an injury. I think his knee got dislocated or something. I remember him yeah. being in... At the um, end? At the end? Yeah, at the end, yeah. At the end, at, right. Yeah, there was people that were saying that he, he was, was up tired before the well. injury. Hey. Huh? Oh, man. He and was tired Gabo, as well already. Nah, and you know, crazy. and Gabo, and, that, and another thing with that fight, like, I think going into that fight, people wasn't expecting a whole lot. 
from popping. So it was like a lot of times when the guy that you don't expect anything from is showing you more than what you're expecting. It's kind of highlighted a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was a good, it was, it was a good fight. Is um I'm surprised they didn't like rematch. Like I remember he, was gonna, he, was, he, he wanted to rematch, but then, then he canceled. Uh, he canceled, oh, he canceled. Uh, the rematch, mm-hmm. and then he lost he lost his position or something. So yeah, no, uh, because he, he was out of the ring. Well, I don't know, but when I was following him on he Instagram, was injured. He, he was injured, injured for like 10 months. But before we yeah. even go on to Alexi Papin, we actually got another cruiserweight on the live. So let's just get into the introductions. I really don't want to screw your name up, so I'm gonna say a carny. Can you please <laughs> say your name so I can personally know how to pronounce it? Thank you very much. Oh. Yo, yo, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can sir. hear you. Okay. Yes, it's yo. So my name is Akani Puzi. I was Akani. gonna pronounce it correctly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, so Akani Puzi, the another fellow cruiserweight to Ngarbo. They've been in the same camp together. They've been training. And Garb, you hit me and Jeff up and was explaining that he had a he had a, a South African tough sparring partner. He wanted to get some exposure. So I was thinking, this is a boxing channel. It's the best place to get exposure. So go ahead. Give yourself a good introduction to those who don't know you, your background, where you're coming from, and where you are right now in terms of your career. Uh, Yeah, uh, I'm I'm from South Africa. My name is Akan Puzi, as I said. Uh, I come from a small town in South Africa, uh, the where Makabu is based, Ngabuna has joined us, but he's just training this side. Um, Kun is based this side. Uh, Kevin Lorena has gone to heavyweight as well. Uh, so I started boxing when I was a bit young. I was in the national team. Uh, traveled a little bit. I gained a, a bit of experience in the amateurs. Uh, then I turned pro in 2017. And I've got like 14 fights, uh, two losses and 12 wins, and six knockouts. But I lost to the same guy. Yeah, I remember we did. We were talking about that before, and the the person you lost to has had a like. I, I personally didn't watch the fight, but he has had a very. He's got a very, very, very good record in terms of names he's fought. He's been in there with Usyk. He's been in there with Lorena. He's been in there with Mias. He's been in there with Matuidi. So he's actually got pedigree. The person you had fought. So, um, uh, he's an esteemed fighter. What I want to ask and. I guess you're the only person to ask. I realize this because I'm Jeff will tell you I'm a big fan of cruiserweight boxing. Yeah. What is it with South Africans and uh, and cruiserweights? Because you go through any other weight class, there's not many South African fights. But then you go in cruiserweight and there's like yes. you got yourself, you got Lorena, you got Machunu, you got like there's a long list of South African fighters. What is it about cruiserweight and South Africa? <laughs> well, uh, I guess I guess big guys are just noticed more more than the small weight. Uh, you see, <laughs> no one really wants to to know the flyweight and everything. But we do have like world champion in in, uh, in in the small weight as well. You know, uh, we have like Higgy Butler from South Africa as well. He's the Ring Magazine champion. He was actually the former. Uh, yeah. But with cruiserweight, yeah, I think we just uh, more uh, noticed because we are a bit bigger. Well, it's boxing, you know. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just found it interesting that when you looked at the top ten, top fifteen cruiserweight fighters in the world, there's about five or six of them that actually came from South Africa, yes. which I just found interesting. Like, I'm a big, big follower mm-hmm. of the cruiserweight mm-hmm. division. Um, and another question I want to ask you: After where you are right now in your career, I'm just the, the simplest way to put it is where do you want to go? We know, and, and Garvey was talking about. Going after world titles, that was his journey. Your person, as you said, you come off a loss, but it was the same fighter. Where are you in your career, and how do you intend to get to the, the, the destination that you want to reach? Oh, yeah. So I just I just switched teams because I was in another camp. Uh, and then uh, I switched teams, joined Damien, where Ngawi is now. Uh, I had my comeback fight, and I won on a third-round knockout. Uh, we still need like was two or three more was fights. To... He was at the talk in this fight. Eh? I think. Oh, I you were on the talk in the fight. The really? last fight. And the last fight. Yeah. Yes, I was. Something yeah. Like this, I knocked the guy out in two, three rounds. In three That's rounds. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, 
So now at the moment, I'm just there. I said I need like two, two more fights or so, and then uh, I want to be in, uh, to try the international stage. You know, like uh, fight the international guys and test and see myself how I perform there. Uh, I mean that that is a. Uh, it's interesting that you say that because. You said you switched camps. There would have had to be, um what made you decide to go from where you was to where you are now? What did you see that made you make that transition? Uh, you know, I saw I saw, you know, uh, at some camps, uh you learn and then you, you get to a point where you, you're more comfortable. So I thought maybe I was too comfortable being in that camp, and then I went to to, to the uh, another camp. Ah, uh, Ngabu will tell you uh, it's that that's a jungle. They call it the jungle. Nah, they train like crazy. Nah. They teach you new things. <laughs> you guys oh, need to get us over there in, America, in in South Africa and get us get us into the get us into the camp so we can see how I've been I've been in quite nah, a few you camps. Have to see that. Shake nah, you, you, like I've you been to, to um, how these guys train, man. You have hey, to I've been that that that, that, hey, that hey, this oh and Gabo, can you good. can you tell us the difference between the camp that you're in now compared and to Ingle. Ingle the Ingle. camp like like compared to like Ingles Gym or even when you were in the states like you oh, yeah, and you in the Mayweather, Mayweather Gym using the Mayweather Gym? Explain the difference between the camp you're in right now with Akani and that whole crew compared to Ingles Gym and and Mayweather Gym. Like, what's the main differences? What what that I have to say like a big difference is already like a, in a, between England the styles is all one thing, it's a different style you know the style is different, but uh, how they train here like in England it's professional you know it's professional you train hard but you get your rest you know you get your rest or maybe on sparring days they're gonna give you the morning off and then. You know, and then you spa, and then the afternoon you do a recovery run, you know. But here, they slaughter you. Here, <laughs> they, you train at, you train like from 7 to, to, to 10, and then you come to, I come to my bed, I eat, I rest 30 minutes. Then at 12, they, can, they come pick me up to go train again, you know. And it are these are long and hard sessions. You know? So you're you're like even, I would... even the the sparrings and the, the rounds. It's always four minutes and thirty second rest. Always, always. Wow. You know? Would and you, you say that there's a there's a risk it, of both being burnt out? Is there a risk? Is there a chance yeah, that you could? There, there is risk, but you know where where can you? How can you push your body? You know how far can you go? You know I I have to say. In the beginning, I suffered a lot, you know, it was very hard. But now I feel my body very strong and, you know, I'm just ready, you know. And it's the first time I need to eat to keep up with my weight. Before I need to wow. diet, you know, I need to diet, you know, uh, like it my, I'm fighting next week. I'm already for two weeks on my weight. Wow. I, I, I have to eat to, to, to keep my weight just from the training. So that that say enough. I mean, the, and I you can, have I, to know it's thousand six hundred meters elevation too, I hear. Oh, oh wow, wow! I didn't know that. I didn't know oh, that. Wow, that's, that's 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 even worse than Big Bear, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousand six hundred meters here. How how that's how, worse than Big Bear. How high is Big Bear? Uh, it's not I that was, high. It's not it's, that it's high. It's not that high. Here it's not that high. Six hundred. Thousand six hundred. Yeah, because people used to go to Big Bear all the time for that. Yeah, elevation. for the change of alt altitude, and but, the air is just so much thinner down, thinner up yeah. there. It's like yeah. um, Golovkin used to go up there. I remember, I remember who was it? Amir Khan went up there, and he literally left after the first day or the second day, like literally. Yeah, yeah. they they have these masks now that you yeah. can put over your face that kind of yeah. duplicates like the elevation as if you were yeah. in Big Bear. So a lot of people don't go there anymore. But yeah, that's higher than Big Bear for sure. Yeah. So the first week here, it was I have to say, it was hard. But it makes it made me harder, harder, and I feel stronger. And you know, we will see next next week my fight. 
I think it will give fireworks. I'm ready. <laughs> Fair enough. For, I, I, for as I, long as it lasts. It will give fireworks. Uh, uh, Carney, I got a question for you, and then I have a question for both of you. I think this is my main question. Um, yeah. after what? I can't, I want to ask you. Um, when are you next out? And like after you, you said you won a couple more fights at this level, but you said you want to try at the international stage. When are you next out? And what names do you think you want to pursue on that international stage to test your skill level and to test how much you've improved since your defeats and you joining a new camp? Is it, yeah, I might I might fight probably in in, uh, in September, but that will just be a keep a keep busy fight I think. And then uh, after that, I, I don't mind going to to fight. I've got names actually. I, I've read the, uh, I've put them down uh, from the UK. You know, uh, there's that guy. They call him Dion Juma or something. Dion Juma. Dion Juma. React Paul just knocked him out. React Paul just knocked him out. Isaac Chamberlain, and then Jack Messi. I'd love to fight Jack Messi for that uh, IBO world title, yeah? I mean, Jack Messi, that's another dude that React Poor fought as well. React Poor's got a few good names in, in that cruiserweight division, but yeah. Isaac Chamberlain will be a good fight. The reason why I say Isaac Chamberlain will be a good fight is because he's been fighting pretty low-level opposition, but Ngabu will tell you he's actually got his own TV deal right now. He's signed with a promotional company that has channel an exclusive five. T oh. channel five who has an exclusive TV deal. They don't really have high budget, Jeff, but what they do have is like he's got the whole platform to himself. He's literally the only name there. Him and I think Shaq and Pitt is they're the only two people oh, with a name. So he you being you fighting him, you basically have and it's a free terrestrial television network. So you fighting him, if you were to upset someone like Isaac Chamberlain. It would be That's it would be huge. amazing for your career, especially yeah. in the UK, because you know how UK boxing is, and we, you know, we are fully invested in fights. So invested in fights, yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to fight him actually. I'd love you, any of them, man. Eh? But then Jack Messi is the one who's got the IBO as well. But then Isaac Chamberlain as well. Yeah, I saw his fight against uh, Reactor. I think was it Reactor or Okoli? No, Okoli, 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 yeah. A Coley yeah, hugged Akoli, him to yeah. death. Akoli hugged him to death in that fight. Ago, this fight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, what are you saying, Gabby? I say it's a lo long time ago when this fight. Now, uh... Yeah, they were both on the 10 fights when they fought each other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Jeff, let hey, me ask Shane, you a question. Hold on, on, Shane. We got somebody in the comments real quick. Uh, big shout out to Conrad Boxing. Uh, say question. I guess this is for both of you guys. Say, what is your view on the landscape at cruiserweight right now? Who are the top contenders? Where do you place yourself? That's a good question. Well, the the top contenders are, are the, the the world champions. There you have yeah. Riddick, you have Okoli now, you have uh, uh, Glamerian, Gulamerian. Yeah. Who else? Who else? Your... Red Mary, Macabre. Yeah, Macabo. Uh, yeah. How you forget about Macabo, <laughs> man? What is wrong with you? Macabre, yeah. Of Wait, isn't Mary from South Africa as well? No, no, no it's from, he's uh, from Belgium. He's, uh, okay. from he's the same country as you. He's the same country as you, right? Yeah. Same yeah. country as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are the top contenders. And uh, where do I place myself? I, you know, I, I've been inactive too long, you know. Now I just want to 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 win my fight next week, and I hope from there that I can get the ASAP a world title shot. That's that's what, where I want to go. Hey, and and Gabo, and then, I, quick and Gabo, quick question: Before your hiatus and 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 you took the laws, um, it's it's amazing how people take one loss. And they make it seem like it's like the end of the world. And a lot yeah, of times, we Shane and I talk about this all the time. You look at a person's record; they could literally have one loss or two losses, but they'll talk as if it's like nine or ten. Did you get yeah. that feeling when you when you took that loss and like before the hiatus? Like, how did you feel First, about that? No, before after that loss, I wanted to come back. You know, I wanted to come back, and we had plans to come back. And, but and then you have the, you had this COVID, you know, and then you had COVID, and then everything changed. 
everything changed and then uh, I didn't got the opportunity to fight again and I, I had to change everything and uh, yeah here you go I have now a new new team new manager new new trainer and uh, the opportunities are coming so uh, I, yeah. I, I... I guess that question applies to you as well, Connie. After you took your first loss, how how did that affect your outlook on your ambitions moving forward? Yeah, it uh, it, 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 it actually made me a bit more hungrier. And then uh, I went straight to a rematch with him, which I thought I won on points. But then, you know, with boxing, it's boxing, and they, they give him a split decision, right. uh, which I thought I really won. I, I thought I really outboxed him. I didn't put much pressure because I, I, I was not believing in myself as much as I do now uh, with the new cap. I hear you. I mean, the question yeah. I have for both of you is, you're both in the Maccabi camp right now, and you both have higher aspirations to reach world level. Well, I, obviously someone who's already at that elite level, um, Maccabi's already there. What, what my question is, is, is it difficult to then seek um, world level aspirations when you're all always going to be underneath the head of the camp like he's the head of the camp so is it difficult you guys are in the same weight class is it difficult for you to to reach that when you're always underneath someone like Maccabi no no it's easy not at all he lifts us up Maccabi lifts us up he lifts me up and we train together and you know it's not uh, you know we he push us you know he push us and uh you know, you have more, more, more than WBC. Eh? You have more. But than I, I, know, I, I just find it interesting. Like, do you it's not that, find that interesting, Jeff? That someone who's in your own weight class will push you up, and you could potentially surpass him. You could potentially be better than him but, or yeah, but beat him, if, but he's still pushing you up. You know yeah, what? If if I surpass him, that's a good thing. You know that he will be happy. I think he will be happy. That's. You know, we I mean, there's the not camp. many fighters like that. There's not many fighters yeah, we like are in that. The same camp, and we, I don't speak about the WBC or something, or, but you know, he, that's that's where we want to go. So he's the, pushing us, and he, he show us how it's done. You know, yeah, I it, mean, it's a good it, thing. It's definitely a no, good thing. Get there, it's, it's good that then. Uh, in Gabu, it's rare. That's that's rare to hear, because. Especially in the in the states, right? You it's would almost different. never see that in the no, states. You the will states never see that in the oh, states because no, they'll. Never. You could be cool with someone, and y'all can be the best of friends, but be in the same weight class. In the back of their mind, they're looking at you like you're competition. They but, may want I, the best for you, but they want to keep you kind of like at a distance. I'll give you no, guys no, an here, example. He pushes. I give you guys an. Push, it, it's push amazing. Him. It's amazing. I'll give you guys an example. Look at um look at in the light heavyweight division. You got um Boatsy, Craig Richards. They trained in the exact um exact same gym and they ended up fighting each other. There's no way that situation would happen in the UK or America. It's a it's a good thing that he's doing it. I'm just very surprised that he's doing it because normally in the UK and especially in America, it's dog eat dog, you know. I don't care about anybody else other than myself. You know you've been in the Mayweather camp and there was no... no. Kabiti wasn't looking to help you. No Cruiserweight no, no. was looking to help you. Yeah. Maybe now, maybe Macau is probably on his way out. Eh? Like, yeah, he's a champion. He's been fighting for some time. So, yeah. it's probably on his way out now. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, would you do, not, a, would you do a Tabidi fight? Pardon? Sorry? Makani, would you do a Tabidi fight? I'd love to. I've been watching Tabidi for some time now. So I'd love to. I think it'd be a good fight for me, uh, you know, skill-wise. He's a good boxer. He's a great boxer. I think it'd be a good fight for me as well. Yeah, I mean... A lot of did, what is did he doing now? What is he doing now? He's fighting, but not under Mayweather promotions. There's I think he know. fought last week or something? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he was, but, I, but it, was a, it was a weird promotional company. I don't know what and the funniest yeah, thing is I yeah. sometimes speak to his manager on Instagram from time to time, but I don't know exactly where or what's going on. I mean, Cruiserweight division, as it stands right now, is quite strange. You've got Glamerian, who hasn't fought for such a long time. 
Yeah. You got Makabu, who's pre- he's probably the most active out of active, all of his yeah, champions. Yeah. You know, he's fought um he fought uh, Machuni recently in the rematch. Yeah. Yeah, and he yeah. um he fought before that, and obviously he's been the WBC champion for some time. And Bradis, who's supposed to be most people's eyes the best, he's calling out a YouTuber. So it's very difficult. <laughs> to see. <laughs> it's difficult to see. Like I will ask you a better question, or not a better question, a different question. Do you guys see yourself at Bridgeway, and could that be a potential? Uh, a future avenue that you might look into because you do have quite a few names there and it might be an easier route to a world title. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind fighting at Bridgeway, but then now Bridgeway is only recognized by WBC, you see. So if maybe the other organizing body joins, I wouldn't really mind fighting at Bridgeway. I, I like a Connie Allen Babbage. Give me, give me that. Give yeah, me, I don't mind. I like fight. it. Give me, give me that fight. But see the thing, bad. It looked like Babbage will pr- uh, pretty much fight whoever. I, so I think yeah, it's, it's realistic. It's yeah, realistic. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah. Care. So why not? Stop it. <laughs> I, I, I got some, I got some fights for you because we, we touched on your career and where you guys want to go moving forward. I got some fights for you where I just want to get a little bit of insight in terms of. How you guys see the fight going? So, okay. obviously, the biggest fight in the division, Bradis Akoli. No disrespect to neither one of you, but at this time, the biggest fight in the division is Bradis versus Akoli. Who would you say is the? I disagree. Go ahead. <laughs> Who would you say the biggest fight is Bradis Makavu? No, yeah. the reason why the reason why I said a Coley just because of how much money he generates. That's all I mean in oh, terms yeah. of no, we can go there too. We can go there too. How much money Makabu generates? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, hey Gabu, tell him tell Makabu I need to borrow me. a couple dollars. I need tell to borrow me. some money. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> please let me know. Because right. I know his last fight was on the Don King promotions, right? Yeah, believe yes. me. Yes, yeah. believe me, the Macabo is the top dog, eh? Money wise. Money, Money wise. wise. And cruiserweight. What you mean if he fights in South Africa or, or globally? What? No, no. The, in the Congo in King Shasha. Cruiserweight. Cruiserweight. Yeah, I know. Do you mean if he fights in South Africa or if he fights anywhere around the world, he's the money? What do you mean? No, he don't fight in South Africa. He only trains in South Africa. He don't fight in South Africa. Where does he fight? In his Congo, where it comes in, from. In Congo. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so... in Congo, and he, but his last fight was in Ohio. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah. yeah, his last yeah. fight was, was the King, Don King, was the Don King, Don King card. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, this is why I'm Come saying. Come on, Shane, because... you need to do the research. You know, you no, need but to do research this... before you you, you you speak. Then let me tell you why I'll say this. I just know based on again, I could be wrong. I just so know based on Eddie Hearn. And how much money Eddie Hearn has invested into Okoli. So yeah. my mind is thinking someone like Eddie um Okoli who has a the zone backing and Shane, go ahead. Do you know how uh, about how, how much we're talking? No, no, tell no, us. Yeah. Tell us. Tell, I mean, I, I I would love for you to tell me. Tell, <laughs> let us, let tell us know. Yeah. I, I don't, but I <laughs> no, just, <laughs> no, no, I I, I no couple little small bits and hey, but in Gabu, the, uh, the thing that's crazy, like with Makabu in the states, people know Makabu because his name was linked to Canelo Alvarez, and I feel like Makabu's the, the management for Makabu that's a great job by them to get his name connected to Canelo because yeah, that's okay. not easy to do. That's not easy to do. Like when you first heard Canelo and Makabu's name being mentioned together like what was your initial thoughts to to us we was like canelo's like he's he's just too small like he's he's very small like so yeah. what was your thoughts like when you first heard about that you being so close to makabu i thought uh, makabu was a big big puncher and you saw uh, canelo was shrug- struggling with uh with uh Bevo. Bevo. yeah Bevo. and um makabu can punch yeah he Akani, what was, what was you thinking, Akani? He yeah, I was just thinking uh, Makabu will overpower him because uh, he's too big. Yeah, he's a hard puncher and he's too big. 
Can, can I ask you another question? Then? We brought up the, the, the concept of money. Was Am I correct in saying that Makabu had to travel to the UK to fight uh, Tony Belly? Yeah, but yeah. that's a long time ago, eh? No, no, no. No, you know, no. The reason, now, of course, now, my point is that's shown that he's willing to travel to another country for a big fight. That's my oh, point. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. with that being said, then if Maccabi was to fight Lawrence Sokoli, because I feel like, no matter how you look at it, I feel like whilst I don't know what Maccabi is making in his purses, I feel like because of Eddie Hearn alone, you would have to put Lawrence Sokoli in it. So let's put Lawrence Sokoli and Maccabi. How does that fight go? Knockout. Okolu good neck knocked out. Okolu's getting knocked out. Yeah. How would you tell the other? Hey, Macau How... can punch, huh? Oh, I, I sparred with him. He punched very hard. As Tony Bellu will tell punch. you. Yeah, he so very is he hard. the hardest? Is he the hardest puncher you've you've been in the ring with? I sparred with yes. That I sparred with yes. And you would say you fought Akoli, you fought Makabu. Who would you say hit you harder? Makabu, without a doubt, and he. We we spar then eh? we 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 spar with eighteen with eighteen and he spars with eighteen, so that's different. He can punch, eh? he can punch. Believe me, he punched very hard. He punched wow. very hard. Wow. I mean that that that's a that's a real big. That's I'm surprised that you said that. But is it interesting to know? I mean, you said eh, the Okoli Okoli punched me with his hardest. Best shot. I was not down, eh? No. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 no. And I'm still no. pissed off about that stoppage too. I'm still pissed right. off, and I'm not just saying that because you want to show. I I was literally pissed off about yeah. that stoppage. I thought Shane, yeah. am I lying? Like that, yeah, that stoppage was bullshit. I thought they would have done. I thought they would have given you at, at least a standing count. At least yeah, you were yeah, supposed to get a standing. This is what it is, you know. Even it is what it is because even in this fight. All the things I could do a lot better too, you know. It's not only that, but that's only that's that's the past, you know. How that, how does Macabre prepare for Lawrence Coley's hugging? That's my question. Because that's a great oh. question. That's a great question. Listen, Go ahead. Listen, this guy, you can't hug him. Believe me, you can't. <laughs> because can't we know that's the Coley's, that Coley's best. That's the Coley's best weapon. You know that clinch. Uh, I mean, that clinch. <laughs> yeah, so moving well, on to another fight. To see. And these are the fights to, to make, you know. The yeah, UFC champion. Yeah, yeah, and that would be all. Against, yeah. I, I, hey, hey, I, think, I think. Hold on, I Shane. Think cruiserweight need, need the, the, this fight. Hey, and Gabu, just for the record, um, Tabidi fought a week ago. Oh yeah, in Texas, he fought. Yeah, on, he fought on. He fought on the twenty first. He was oh. talking about moving up to heavyweight, but we will not get into that. I, because... Listen, I hold on, hold on, Akani, hold on. Akani's face said it all. Tabiti, Tabiti was to to heavyweight. <laughs> nah. Yeah, that's that's not a good. Nah, that's that's not a good. Why do you look. say no, Akani? Why do you say no? It's, it's way too small to go to heavyweight. He got knocked out by a tall cruiser. What's, what's gonna happen if you go to to heavyweight? And Shane was in the building for that fight too. I was I was ringside for that fight. I was ringside. Yeah. For that fight. Yeah. Um, what do you think is gonna happen if you had to fight uh, the legs of Wilder? I mean, right. I mean. Yeah, yes, I mean that's a, that's a that's yeah, a definite right there. But moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> with Brady and Maccabi, who wins that fight? That's a good fight to make, you know. <laughs> is, yeah. I think <laughs> technically, British, yeah, you know, he can move good. He's smart, but uh, Maccabi, his power, you know, he has power. And Brady's got a chin as well, though. Brady's got a good chin. Yeah, so he got good, yeah, he got good Brady's well. got a chin now. Yeah. It's a, that's yeah, a good bro. fight. I mean, that's a good fight. The truth is, yeah, if I had to pick... I would rather watch 
um, Brady's versus Makabu. I don't really like Akoli's fight. Yeah, I don't that's the fight to make. That will I don't really fight. like clinching, so I don't like Akoli's fight. Like, literally, that unless be, that the only fight, fight I want to see Akoli in. In fact, Makabu and Gabi, you spoke about um, you spoke about <coughs> your where you want to go moving forward. How about you versus Reactor? Because you've spoken about this fight before. Yes. I called him out. I called him out already. Eh? We are, yeah. I called him out already. I called him out. And, you know, I want to fight. I, I, you know, you know, I want to fight no, no matter who, you know. Just now, I, mean, I, I, I need to come back, win this title next week. And then from there, there are, I called Riakpo. I wanted to fight him. I wanted to fight I, Riakpo when I was in the UK. I'm sending this to React Po right after the show. I'm clipping yeah. this and I'm sending it directly to him. Yeah, I right. want. I so want. He can't to say. Fight, he I know. wanted to fight React Po. I called him out. I, and, uh, I, I want you to fight him before someone beats him because yes, this, team, yes. this team's gonna get a lot. To fight everybody. I wanted to fight Isaac Chamberlain. I called Isaac Chamberlain out. I called React Po out. You know, I wanted to fight React Po because for me he's number two in the UK. I fought Okoli and I wanted to fight Riakpo, you know, because I, I want to, to have good fight. And Gabo, but, uh, who's, who's the top never... three? Who's the top? I guess who, who's your top three guys on your hit list? Who's the top three guys on your hit list? On my hit list? Uh, yes. Let's say Okoli rematch. Okoli rematch. Uh, That's that's it. Like the uh, Okoli <laughs> rematch will be, will be <laughs> that's it, really. That's it. React for a distant second. Yeah, react for whoever. I'll ask the question to both of you guys. Be and I, to, to make as well. I, I, I want to know. He's number one in, was, uh, in the USA. Yeah? He's number yeah. one. In, yeah. Yes. So the amount of respect. The amount of respect you guys both have for Maccabi. Would you guys ever go in a ring with him and fight? I will not. I I fight whoever you know. I fight whoever, but we are in the same team, and same I camp. know I re respect. And Macabu is, you know, I give him the respect. He's the BBC champion, you know. We 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 not there, you know, and so I don't see this. I don't think about the, this kind of situation. That's not my my. I, I respect yeah. him. He's the world champion, and he yeah. did. Uh, you know, hey, Akani, who's top three he, on your hit list? Jack Massey, uh Isaac Chamberlain, uh, Dion Dion Juma. Dion Juma. I'd love to find this guy. <laughs> UK takeover. UK takeover. But yeah. You know what? Say that again. Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn needs to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> eh? Put it to Eddie and see it. Yeah, we're gonna put this in Eddie Hearn's ears for sure, definitely. Now, it, it, I mean, Eddie, out of those three, you just Eddie, I think Eddie Hearn only promotes uh Jack Macy, but I don't even know. But either way, it's interesting well, to no Eddie Hearn don't promote him, man. Eh? He doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't no, promote Jack he Massey, doesn't he promotes Jack Chris Pilar Smith or something. Fight zone. Jack Massey. Huh? Jack Massey is with the fight zone. Oh, okay, I didn't even know that. I know um he's got Billum Smith, yeah, Billum Smith, and he's got um obviously Lawrence O'Coley. Uh, React Poor's with Sky, and right now Sky are putting some big money behind React Poor. Like I don't know if they're making the money back, but they're putting a lot of money behind him because like they don't really have much other dudes um at cruiserweight, if any, you know. And I think they want to make that React Poor Lawrence O'Coley fight some way down the line. But, but he needs a Don't want to move up. That's another thing, man. Eh? You think well, he has the frame for heavyweight? I don't think so, but I don't think so either. You never know. I don't think so, but then boxing you never know. Huh? You never but you know. look at him, I mean, let's be honest, if AJ loses, you, you I mean he might invest a lot in AJ um re Acolia heavy, heavyweight. I don't think he has a frame for it though. Do you, do you, I mean after I think hindsight is twenty twenty because now Canelo has lost to Bivol. But was you and was you guys entertained? Because imagine a Canelo 
in a cruiserweight division. All of a sudden, there's so much um, attention That's on it. your division. Was you upset that a uh, Canelo lost? Did you want Canelo to move to cruiserweight or did it not matter to you? I was not upset, but uh, it would be good to see what, what he was going to do. That'd be good, but uh, I don't think he will make the move now. Eh? I don't think so. No, nah. I, don't, I don't think so. Eh? I mean, I have to ask you this. I'm sorry to do it, but I have to ask you. There's a fighter who's making a lot of money right now. And he said Big in ball. three years, he's going to be a world champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, assuming the only wo- I'm assuming the only weight class he can be world champion is in is cruiserweight. cruiserweight yeah. So would you Correct. guys fall, fight Jake Paul? I don't hey, know him all this I, crowd. I, I, I fought his trainer. You really? Know? I was following BJ Flores eh, when I was... Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, yeah. BJ Flores is his, his trainer. I don't think I don't think you will you will uh, take the fight. Yeah. When did you say, Connie, you will knock him out? What? In six rounds, I'd love to fight him. The <laughs> YouTuber. I... Are you guys for YouTube boxing or against, or you don't mind? You guys think it's a good thing for boxing, or? Yeah, it's a good thing for boxing. You know, for me, it's a good thing for boxing. Eh? It's a lot of attention. It's a lot. Every for me, everybody do whatever he wants to do and if it's good it's it's good you know jake paul makes a lot of money he brings a lot of attention so yeah why 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 not yeah it's sad it's sad for 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 some boxers you know that you see youtube come to to the game and making this Make kind more of money, money than yeah you know? but it is what it is, you know. He's doing a good job for, for him, for himself. So, Absolutely. fair play to him. Fair play to him. Absolutely. Let me get in the comments real quick, Shane. Uh, Diamond the Rock uh, said, hey, champs. Uh, big shout out to Diamond the Rock. And Shane, go ahead, bro. No, I didn't. I didn't. I've, I've Shane, just... Shane, you that do uh, that much research, do, do you know Duran? Do you know this gym? Because they produced a lot of uh, world champions and all that. In South that, Africa? Gym. Yeah. Yeah. No, no I talk don't. to us. Talk to us. You no, I don't. The research, Shane. Come I, on, man. I, the truth is, I, cl- I cover global sport. So, obviously... Oh, we got to look into I, it, for sure. I'm, I'm going to... My research is the information you're going to give me right now. You know, there's so many. I'm not gonna obviously. I'm not gonna know, but go is ahead. It, Gabu, you know more, you know is it that's, anybody? That's... Is it anybody in that gym that we need to be checking for? No. Outside of you two. Uh, yeah, there is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You this are Emma Colombo. The so, what's his name? The 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 little one. The little one. Akani. Baby. Uh, Baby Jackie. G? Baby G, Baby G, Baby G. yeah, and uh, Tetelelo, Tetelelo. <laughs> what yeah, what division? Yeah. What division he fight in? He's a super lightweight, super lightweight, super light. So let's do yeah. this. Oh bro. my gosh, super let's lightweight is one of the most stacked divisions in the yeah. sport. Yeah. He well, is very good shape. I listen, swear. Listen, let's good. let's do this. Let's do this. You know, we have you guys on, and, and you know, Gabo, you've been on several times with us. So let's highlight the entire gym. Let's highlight yeah. the entire gym. Guys that yeah, guys yeah. that's in that gym that yeah. we need to be checking for, they, they need to be on camera. The whole globe needs to know who these people you are. Have, yeah. And we're going to have, of course, Akani, of course, we're going to, you know, continue to have you on and, and, and things like that and, and just build on what we're doing right now. But if there's other guys in that gym, that are are nice and nobody knows who they are, then they need to be on camera. So we definitely need to get them on. I mean, I'll give you an example of how that works. I mean, Ryan Garcia's last fight was against Emmanuel Tegu. Nobody had ever heard of that dude, never. The first time he was ever mentioned was on this platform. Literally was on this platform. And a couple weeks after he was, not a couple weeks after, a couple months after he was on the zone. 
So literally, shout out to Blunt, who's our other, who normally does a podcast with us. He was the first one who almost like introduced us to this individual. And then from there, you know, he went to fight Ryan Garcia, which, you know, look how big that fight was in America. So if that um, the person that Ngarbi was talking about is that good of a fighter, I mean, if we could get him on camera and get him this guy caught, I don't know, does he speak English fluently? Yeah, yeah. he does. does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, no this, problem. And Gabo and his another one, eh? Jackson, mm -hmm. he's bantamweight, and bantamweight. I he's number two or three, eh? uh, Akani. Yeah, he's the uh, flyweight, I think. Jackson, Jackson Chawuke. He's number two or three, and double. I know who that. I, I definitely know. I, def I definitely know who that is because I've seen him in box rick, but I've never seen yeah. him fight. But I've seen that yeah. name on box. Yeah. He trains here. He trains here as well. He's number two in the the I think. Do he train yeah. all day and all night like you guys? He does. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to come and see. Man, we would listen. We would love to get. We would love to get. I'm Shane to see you guys. Research. I need Shane to jump on that, man. I need Shane to jump on that, man. Like that's why me? Why me by myself? Why not you because... as well? Why not everyone? But no, I'm definitely listen. I'm trying to get all of them on camera. I want to be in the gym. All of that, like definitely. Yeah. Um, oh man, no. the, but you would think. They, they, they deserve the exposure. These guys train very hard. Absolutely. They, they, they and train Gabu, here. You know the thing that's crazy with the um with the Emmanuel Tagu situation before he got the Ryan Garcia fight. So my guy Blunt mentioned him. So we went viral basically. Uh we had a show and I was like, who's the top five guys at lightweight? So he says Emmanuel Tagu was like his number three. We like what? Like who? Like so we clipped it, we put it on Instagram, and it kind of went crazy. And he used to always talk about him, always talk about him. Before you knew it, he's uh he's on the zone, he's fighting Mason Menard, and he gets that victory, and then he comes back and he gets the Ryan Garcia fight. So it's like it's crazy how this works. You know, yeah. just in terms of you get on camera one time, two times. Like, Akani, this is your first time being on camera with us. Yeah. People are going to see you on camera with us often. People see us with Ngabu often. So now people think of Ngabu, they think of Padman, they think of us. So Ngabu's Shane. name is actually circulated in the States. We yeah. had the same shade. When I came to the UK, I said I want to fight according. I told you. You know, then I remember after I, yeah. then couple yeah. months after I, I got exactly. the fight. I remember that. I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Interview, you, right? you, you remember? Yeah, I remember. I went to Sheffield. I went to Sheffield yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that interview in the Ingle Gym. I remember that. Yeah. And I, um, it's it's just very interesting to see how things work. I mean, uh, as it stands right now, I personally am willing to like that camp. Sounds like something incredible. I've been to numerous gyms in the UK. Yeah. Like up and down the globe, and I've been to obviously last year I was in Philadelphia. I went to uh, two gyms in Philadelphia. So to see, to see, um, uh, what's it called? To see a gym in South Africa and to see how they train out there it would just be interesting to see because oh, you have to see it. Yeah, you and Gabu, Shane, you Shane, have to see it. You Shane was here. It. Shane was here in Philly, so I'm from Philly. So Shane. Was in the gym with uh with Boots Ennis, uh Stephen Fulton. I didn't uh, get to see he Stephen Fulton left the week that I came, so, yeah, so I literally I, missed him a couple of days. Right, and I seen Stephen Fulton after Shane left, and like all of those guys are like in the same gym, and it sounds like your gym is similar in terms of just it's just a big pool of talent, all types of divisions. Um, how how was the sparring in that gym? Is it um is it hard sparring in terms of are you guys working on technical yeah. things or is it just a lot of hard sparring? Kind of oh, like with Mayweather. To, 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 to add to oh. that, because I know in the Ingle gym they don't do head sparring; they just do body sparring. So what's the difference? No, no, here they spar. Here they 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 spar. Hard sparring, technical sparring. Yeah, sometimes so, technical, so. but when they spar, they spar. 
Like uh, you have a guy, he, I'm fighting next week, Tuesday, and he is fighting on a Saturday. On a He's Saturday, Brandon, yeah. Brandon, Brandon Tiste. Brandon Tiste is number one. In what way? In uh, that uh, Super Welter, Super Welter. Super Welter. He's number one here in South Africa, South African champion. And that's a guy he wants to get out too, as well. And he yeah. has, he he's another fight. one you want to get. That that camp sounds like it's full of. Uh, I did I did my training camp together with uh, Brandon because we we are fighting. Yeah. The, is, the are the you? Same is, 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 how many gyms are there in America in South Africa? Because it looks like all the best fighters in South Africa fight in the same gym. At the same gym, right? No, no. You have couple because there's a couple of gyms. Now, so. he's training. You have Mchunu and Lerena, they, they, they train in another they, gym. In another gym, yeah. yeah gym. That's the other gym. Okay. Hey, so I, I definitely want to get them other guys on. So if they, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you can if you can let them know, we're definitely trying to talk to them, get them on camera, because they, they need to be known in the yeah, States. Yeah. They need to be known everywhere. Yeah. Um because it's really about exposure at the end of the day. You could be the best fighter in the world, but if nobody knows who you are, then yeah. it's for, you know, it's and really for personal guys, they satisfaction. All they, they all want, want to fight. They all want to fight, all these guys. Yeah. Who's the head coach in that in that gym? Durant. That's Damien Durant. The same story. Damien Durant. Same, that's the same story as Ingle. Like, uh, that's the son. Like, okay. Uh, from the father passed away. Uh, okay, three four years ago, but the son, you know, he grew up with the, with the father, and when his father passed away, he took over, and uh, yeah, he actually yeah. took over before his father passed away. Yeah, before I, mean, yeah, you you... Could, I would even love to speak to the coach as well. They, yeah, yeah the coach, absolutely. I mean, yeah, he's, uh, the coach young, but fantastic. very good and very smart. Very smart. You know? Hey, and Gabo, I, I don't know if I don't know if Shane asked this, but you're you're uh. Your opponent, do you know much about him just from a technical standpoint? Like, are, are you pretty yeah, familiar yeah. with him as an opponent? Yeah, 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 of course. I we watch, we uh, even watch with the with the coach here. So, uh, yeah, he's strong. He's strong. He's good. He's good. He's a switch hitter. He switch stands. He's good. He's strong. But uh, you know, if I want to get where 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 I want to get, I I have to beat. I have to beat uh, him, you know. Yeah. And I'm I had, ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm I had to ask up. that. I had to ask that in Gabu because in, in, in the States, and, and Gabu, you know this, you've been in the States. A lot of guys won't admit that they actually watch film on a guy, which I, I don't understand. I'm like, your job is to do your homework on your opponent before you step yeah. in the ring with him. So, yeah. and I know you a smart guy. So going yeah. into this fight, I knew you you wasn't overlooking him. So, no, um, no, of course not. Right. How so? How much insight is your coach's? Um, how how much insight is your coach has given? You know, in terms of the preparation for this fight. No, a lot, a lot. We worked on a lot of things. We we worked on a lot of things, and uh, I think it will be uh, another in Gabu. Uh, you will see in the ring because uh, we work on different things, and um, yeah, and uh, yeah, you can it feel good. It feel good. Uh, Quick question, can, uh, after the experience you're going through right now, can you see yourself rejoining the Ingle Gym or do you, where you are right now, you're oh, comfortable? You just done with it. No, I'm comfortable here. Eh? I'm comfortable here. It was very, oh, these guys train hard, but it made me stronger. And I feel my body is, is can I, strong and good can and I ready. Be, I'm hungry. Can so, I be uh, honest with you? And I'll and be honest what, with you. Wait, well. another thing. Wait, wait. Let me say one thing. And uh, the difference, with the Inger gym and being here is that uh, the trainer here, he works on the individual, you know, he works on the individual. And like the Inger gym is more, you know, you work in group. That's the only difference, you know. Here, the, 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 the coach, I don't know, I don't want to say something bad, but he's uh, very passionate about the, the sport and is uh, busy with the individual and like we watch we watch a video we, we watch a, a fight you know we watch a fight for my opponent you know we say and then he said uh, he said before we watch the the, the 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 fight of my opponent he said uh 
I want you to uh, watch the fight from your opponent, take a pen and uh, say, say, write down the things he do good and write down the things he do bad and give it to me. You, you understand? So it's mm -hmm. more... You know, it's uh, yeah. That that, that, that that is a couple of things. So that is real good. I, that is real good. I, I mean, sometimes, sometimes he sent me like videos from uh, like he said, uh, like things I didn't see. I I, I don't see. He said uh, he sent me videos from uh, Benavides. He said, look what he do, look what he do with that. Look how he do this, and look like Lopez. He said, uh, look, look, he do that, he do that. Things that I even didn't have, Ale. I never saw that before. And then when he, he spoke about it, I start to see it. Like now uh, I, I watch different things. Sound like a real teacher. Things. Yeah. Sound like a real he's teacher. A, he's a yeah. teacher and he's passionate about the, the, the sport. I, I mean, I would, what, what I would say is like, I was going to say the exact same thing. What I know of the Ingle Gym is the Ingle Gym has a specific style. You know, they have yeah. a specific Ingle style. style. And no matter what your personal attributes are, you're going to have to fight that style. So I remember yeah. God telling me about him being a, them teaching you how to switch hit and yeah. fight Southport Orthodox. And I'm not saying that's necessarily wrong, but I know your, I've seen your attributes, I've seen how you fight, and I'm just thinking to myself, that's not knowing you. his style, like so, yeah. I've always compared Ngarbu to a mini Mike Tyson. Like I've always mm -hmm. said, he just head moving all side to side, looking to land punches. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not. And I just thought to myself, I love coaches who work on the individual. And you said it yourself yeah. that this coach he works on the individual, not right. just. It's not yeah. just um, Ngarbu. I've seen a few people who's gone to gyms. We spoke about it the other day. I mean, Garby, you should know this as well. Liam, Liam Williams, he joined um, Don, um, Adam Booth and you could see in that fight, you know, he was becoming something that wasn't him. The, wasn't him. Um, yeah. Liam Williams that fought Liam Smith and Andrade wasn't the same Liam Williams that fought Eubank. Chris no, Eubank. No, 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 not at all. Not at and all, I yeah. feel like sometimes coaches, they try to reinvent a character and make them become something that they ain't. Yeah. But, you know, one thing I have to say, that everything works together for good, you know. Like, here, I see the, the improvement I make I made in the inner gym as well, you know. Like, my footwork, like, my footwork. And I still, I'm still able to, to switch, you know. That, right. That, that, these are all things I learned in the inner gym. And you know now we just improve a couple of things and uh, in boxing you never stop learning. That's a never, fact. That's a fact. You never stop learning. That's that's a fact. I don't want to see you switching to South Paul in this fight though. <laughs> go do what you do. Go 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 do what you do. I don't want to see no South Paul in this fight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go do what you do, and and yeah. uh, big shout out to um, big shout out to Padman McGriff too, man. Uh, guy yes, and, and guy who work with do uh, the job, man. Yeah, and, and it's crazy, but and and the thing is, it's crazy. And Akani, this is what we're talking about. So, not that long ago, it was Shane, myself. Um, and Gabu, and we actually brought pa Padman in, and Gabu didn't even know Padman was gonna be there. We surprised him. And it's amazing to see. Yeah. It's amazing to see how we went from that to now. Padman is working with Haney in a and unification fight. He spoke fight. about working with Haney and on he that live when work, and Garby right, was here. He spoke right. about working he with Haney. He spoke about that, and mm -hmm. and Gabu is in a position now to where one or two fights, you right back in the world title picture. Mm -hmm. So. It's amazing how you have one moment and it doesn't look like a lot right then yeah. and there, and then months down the line, nope. you are in a completely different space. Different, so I'm saying yeah. that to Akani. Listen, yeah. you come on here anytime you feel like it. You you hit me up, you hit Shane up, you get on here whenever you feel like it. Anybody in that gym, they're more than welcome to come on. It's all about exposure, it's all about letting people know how good you are, how good I, that gym is. I, and and we do. And if you guys ever come to America, just got a good sparring partner for you, who's Tristan Absolutely. James. Yeah, he's a cruiserweight. 
he spars with um he spars in the Crawford camp. So yeah. Yeah, he's in the yeah, he's in the camp with uh with Terrence Crawford and he fights out of uh he fights oh. out of uh, out of Iowa. He's at he's at light heavy right now, but most of his career he's fighting at cruiserweight. And um is it was crazy because like management is so important in boxing. His first mm. probably eight fights, all of them were undefeated dudes. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like they were all undefeated. Mm. So now he's kind of just made the transition and he switched his. He switched his Southpaw Orthodox. And he's he's nice, but he's in that gym with Bud Crawford and and yeah. um and all of those guys, man. So I don't know if you guys get to the States. If you get here, we definitely, you mm. know we will meet for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Shane, you got you got anything else, bro? No, nah, I'm just wishing both of you guys luck. I'll probably speak to you guys before your fight. I don't know if I speak to Ngar, but if you if I do, you know, if I don't, I mean, obviously I'm wishing both of you do very much. Very much. Um, I hope you guys hope uh, have a great fight and obviously the performances are set. I wanna see um what the coach is offering. I'm hoping we can get some of the dudes in the gym. We'll see hundred percent on the live as well. You know, I want to get some of those dudes that Ngarbu is talking about on the live, get them some exposure. So just like how you got a Kanyon, just hit me up with the rest of the names. Both of you guys will just hit us up with the rest of the names yeah. and we'll just try to sort something out. Yeah, and hey, listen, if you got yeah. if you got sparring footage, things like that, or just training footage, anything like that, send it. Send it. We got a website. We got the YouTube channel. We got all that. We posting it Instagram, all over the place. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Uh, yeah, we've sent it all. So if you're sitting on footage or anything like that, send it over. We'll get it. We're going to get it out there. And we know so many people. Well, I know so many people just within the States. There's a lot of people in the States that know who Ngabu is because he was on camera with me and, and, and Batman, you know, and I had people hit me up like, hey, that I had two people hit me up, just random guys. And I guess they were in the Mayweather gym. And they hit me and was just like, yeah, the guy you had on the show, like, right. was he in the Mayweather gym? I'm like, yeah, he was in the Mayweather gym. Like, so it's just... You put yourself on camera and you don't know who's watching. But you got to put yourself on camera first so people, you know, see who you are at the end of the day, man. But it's it was it was an absolute pleasure having both of you guys on. Um, we really appreciate it. I expect, and Gobble, especially you, thank you got to fight. Thank you. Thank you. You know, thank and Gobble, you. give them give them your social media, man. Uh, Instagram, Team Gabu, and uh, I have a page uh, on Facebook. Uh, that is uh, Team Gabu as well. All right, follow uh, me, guys. Yes, follow him, Mr. Akani. Get it. Let's yes, get it. Mr. Akani, give him your social media, good brother. Yeah, uh, on Instagram it's ak dot uh, p h u z i, and then it's Arnold Puzi or on Facebook. All right, all right, Shane. You got any yeah. final words, bro? No, bro. I'm I'm spoken up. Do your bro. research, Shane. Do your research. This guy, yeah. this guy, this guy, this guy told me today. I don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, I got listen to Gabu. I'm, I'm gonna do my research right along with Shane, man. And we gonna, we definitely gonna highlight that gym, um, yeah, everybody yeah. in it, the coaches and everybody else, man. Because I think the world needs. That's to the know one. Exactly that's the person I want to get in the gym the most. The coach. I want to get yeah. the coach on camera the most. Yeah, I will ask him. I will. Uh, yeah, will tell him. He, uh, you know, because he been there with his dad. Uh, his whole life, so he's been boxing his whole life. So uh, oh, and Gabu, we trying, just did a we trying. just did a piece on um we just did a piece on Padman McGriff too. Uh, we just yeah, did a written I, I article know, on it. Yeah, yeah. He said it so, to me. He said it to me. He said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But listen, we but those are the things that those are the things that we trying to do. Um, yeah. definitely get. Okay. Different written things. articles and, and all of that out there and all of that is in the yeah. spirit of exposure at the end of the day yeah. so yeah. uh mr akani it was an absolute pleasure having you on appreciate I you do a post time fight reaction on your fight as well post fight post fight reaction i um, listen and i need knockouts too man i don't need the judges getting involved man i, I need <laughs> stretchers and people on the floor that's that's what i need <laughs> from both of you guys man so yeah, listen yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you man. Yeah, so on behalf of Mr. Ngabu, Mr. Akani, Thank you. Uh, VP Thank you. Shane, and your boy G5 Jeff TV, man. Check out Ngabu. He's fighting next week, man. Be on the lookout for Akani as well, man. On behalf of the staff, Thank we you. out. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.